Christ is mediator of a new covenant, so that by means of his death, those who are called may receive the promise of an eternal inheritance. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to receive these most sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Be near, O Lord, to those who plead before you, and look kindly on those who place their hope in your mercy, that cleansed from the stain of their sins, they may persevere in holy things, holy living, and be made full heirs of your promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. When Abram prostrated himself, God spoke to him. My covenant with you is this. You are to become the father of a host of nations. No longer shall you be called Abram. Your name shall be Abraham, for I am making you the father of a host of nations. I will render you exceedingly fertile. I will make nations of you. Kings shall stem from you. I will maintain my covenant with you and your descendants after you throughout the ages as an everlasting pact to be your God and the God of your descendants after you. I will give to you and to your descendants after you the land in which you are now staying, the whole land of Canaan, as a permanent possession, and I will be their God. God also said to Abraham, on your part, you and your descendants after you must keep my covenant throughout the ages. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Look to the Lord in his strength. Seek to serve him constantly. Recall the wondrous deeds that he has wrought. His portents and judgments he has uttered. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. You, descendants of Abraham, his servant, sons of Jacob's, his chosen ones, he, the Lord, is our God. Throughout the earth his judgments prevail. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. He remembers forever his covenant, which he made binding for a thousand generations, which he entered into with Abraham and by his oath to Isaac. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to the Jews, Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever keeps my word will never see death. So the Jews said to him, Now we are sure that you are possessed. Abraham died, as did the prophets, yet you say, Whoever keeps my word will never taste death. Are you greater than our father Abraham who died, or the prophets who died? Who do you make yourself out to be? Jesus answered, If I glorify myself, my glory is worth nothing. But it is my father who glorifies me, of whom you say he is our God. You do not know him, but I know him. And if I should say that I do not know him, 
I would be like you, a liar. But I do know him, and I keep his word. Abraham, your father, rejoiced to see my day. He saw it and was glad. So the Jews said to him, You are not fifty years old, and you have not seen Abraham. Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, Before Abraham came to be, I am. So they picked up stones to throw at him, but Jesus hid and went out of the temple area. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today we hear one of the greatest scenes in the Bible recounted in today's first reading from Genesis. God's covenant or alliance with Abraham is a promise of unswavering fidelity to Abraham and his descendants. It is God's promise to be faithful in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, and a call to Abraham to be faithful to God. It was also a mission to make the true God the God of Israel, known to the entire world. They would spread knowledge of God not only through missionary activity, but by the fidelity and quality as their lives as individuals and as a nation. God chose to make people holy, not only as individuals, but as a single people. So here begins the majestic story of the covenant told in the Old Testament. The covenant between God and Abraham marks the headwaters of the great river of Jewish history. When Israel would stray, the scripture said that God remembered his covenant with Abraham and enabled the people to find revival. God's fidelity would take many forms but would always be present. The people of Israel were very proud of their special relationship with God. Perhaps in that context, we can understand why the people became so agitated when Jesus made himself out to be greater than Abraham by saying, before Abraham came to be, I am. But the new covenant from Jesus would fulfill the former covenant by embracing the whole human race, bringing the transforming forgiveness of sin and a sharing in the very life of God. The covenant with Abraham was not to be a written contract, but a promise from God that called for Abraham's faith. We also have to walk by faith in the new covenant created by Jesus' death and resurrection. We also are to be saved not only as individuals, but as a people. The church is not simply a stage for individual actors. It is an ensemble cast called to show forth Christ together as one body of believers. How could God's promise be fulfilled if there was no one to receive it? That is what faith is, responding to God's invitation to a relationship with a heart of love. It is believing in his promises and loving him in return. Faith is not only belief that God exists, but absolute trust in him. Faith is not only belief in the saving death and resurrection of Jesus, but trust in its power for our life. Faith is responding to fear and uncertainty with true peace, not fear and anxiety. Jesus promises, whoever keeps my word will never see death. If we hold up our end of the relationship and truly believe these words, then fear of whatever may come disappears like a ship on the horizon, never to return again. Brothers and sisters, Let us offer our prayers to God who hears the cries of the poor and the lonely. For those called to the covenant with Noah, for all animals, plants, and living things, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those called to the covenant of Abraham, for the children of Hagar and Sarah, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
for those called to the covenant of Moses, for all who walk by the light of the Torah, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those called to the covenant in Christ, for all the baptized, and all those who prepare for the Easter, the Easter services, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the dead of the human family, for all those who sought fidelity to the mystery revealed in the universe, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the intention of this Mass, the repose of the soul of George Sianco, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of the living and the dead, thank you for hearing our prayers. Answer them in your goodness, your mercy, and your love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Look with favor, Lord, we pray, on these sacrificial offerings, that they may profit our conversion and the salvation of all the world, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty. Since by the wondrous power of the cross, Your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, And all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, 
and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, Oscar, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another the sign of peace. Agnus Dei, Qui tollis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tollis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tollis peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by the same sacrament with which you feed us in this present age, you may to make us partakers of life eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please bow your head and pray for God's blessing. Be gracious to your people, Lord, we pray, that as from day to day they reject what does not please you, they may be filled instead with the light at your commands. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. <laughs>